Greetings and thank you for joining me for today's Innovations in Facial Plastic Surgery Update. I'm Dr. DJ Verrett. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about natural ways to treat skin aging. When we talk about aging of the skin, there are two processes that occur. One is intrinsic aging. Intrinsic aging is due mostly to genetic factors, basically can't be controlled. Now with intrinsic aging, you don't get a lot of the changes that you see in extrinsic aging, which is what most people think of as photo aging or aging of the skin. Intrinsic aging causes decrease in collagen in the skin and a slight increase in organized elastin, so you don't get as many wrinkles. It causes a thinning of the skin and to some degree a decrease in immunity of the skin. In extrinsic aging, the biggest factor is photoaging or ultraviolet radiation exposure. There are many sources of ultraviolet radiation, but the most common is sun exposure. The second most common probably is tanning beds. Ultraviolet radiation causes many structural changes in the skin, including a decrease in collagen, an increase in unorganized elastin, and an increase in the amount of age spots in addition to photo damage causing an increase in skin cancer risk. Now, how do you fight it once you've, uh, once you've had these changes? Well, in this case, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Protecting yourself from ultraviolet radiation, including don't tan in tanning beds, avoid being out in the high times of ultraviolet radiation between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. It varies depending on what part of the world you're in and using appropriate sunscreens, those that have an SPF of at least 30 with both UVA and UVB protection. Once you've gotten the damage though, look towards products like the retinols. They're available both over the counter and by prescription, though the prescription products do provide a better support, the over the counter products can be useful. The over the counter products have to be converted by the body and so the effects may not be seen for much longer than the prescription products and the effects may not be as dramatic. The retinols or vitamin A derivatives are very useful to decrease the amount of sunspots that you have, reverse some of the effects of photoaging, and also treat some fine lines and wrinkles. For pigment in the skin, think about hydroquinone products. Hydroquinones are available over the counter and by prescription. In addition, licorice products can help with uh, pigment in the skin. For wrinkles alone, coenzyme Q, both orally and topically, has been shown to help fight the effects of wrinkles. And the antioxidants, such as resveratrol, vitamin C, and others have been shown topically to help fight fine lines and wrinkles in scientific studies. For more information about ways that you can help your skin and decrease the signs of aging, please visit my website at www.innovationsfps.com. I'm Dr. DJ Verrett. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day.